<laughs> we are on! It's a windy afternoon! Ooh, it's some unusual rolling swell coming through the bay. And today, I'm going to teach you how to get planing. Not necessarily control the planing and the harness and foot straps like I've got now, but how to get your first burst of planing and get the power from the sail into the board. And, because it's exactly the same, how to exit your carb jibes and really get on the power quick. And they really are the same. There's a lot of skills that we learn at beginner and low intermediate classes and groups that we forget about when you become an advanced windsurfer. So if you've never got on the plane, or if you want to exit your carb jibes on the plane, the next few minutes are for you. So now I've slowed it down a little bit because it's about getting going and channeling that power for this bit. Not what I'm doing when I'm at speed. So now I've slowed down. There are two key words that you have to do to get planing or get back on the plane nice and quickly exiting a jibe. Two words. That's all it takes. Let's keep it simple as we can. Drop and push through that front foot. And there we go. Slow it back down again and we'll see that once again. I'm in the wind, pointing upwind quite considerably. I've definitely got enough wind to get going. Drop. And push through that front foot. And almost instantly, there it goes. The board starts to speed up. Now we could add a top to toe or a head to hoof checklist if you like, just to make this more complicated, I suppose. It's not what I'm aiming for, I'm gonna make it a bit simpler. Drop and push, but head, check for the wind, make sure you have the wind, make sure you have some space in front of you. Hand, and this is a key one, your front hand in particular needs to be a long way back down the boom. Almost, if not actually, touching that front harness line. It's too far forward and you do it. The sail's still open. I haven't got the power in the rig. Get those hands back and the sail will naturally close as you drop down. Let's slow it down again. Harness, it actually doesn't matter if you're hooked in or not. It's exactly the same thing. In the harness, drop and push. I'm in a bit of a lull here. As it is, I'll do that again. I was in a lull. Drop and push in the harness. Nope, still in a lull. Give it a second. In the harness, drop and push. There she goes. Drive that front foot. Or, Slow it down. Out of the harness is actually easier to really drop down low. And you've guessed what I'm pushing through, the final H, my hoof. In particular, that front hoof is the one driving. Drive through that front hoof. The great thing about this one is, providing you have a big enough board that you can just about step back into one or even both straps in, I'm non-planing in the foot straps. Head, hand, unhook, drop, push. Give it a little drive off that front foot. I'm driving across the wind now. Already in the foot straps. Bring it back up wind again. Woo! It's hard work out the harness, but it really works. You can do a drop and push in both foot straps. And if you're trying to exit your jibes on the plane, it really is identical. And I'll throw in a few other clips of jibes just now. But as you come around the jibe, chances are you're slowing down. I'm slowing down. Make that disco exit. I've almost stopped. Drop and push. Woo, super low. And as you saw, 
despite almost stopping, you're straight back onto the plane. In fact, I've seen a lot of guys trying to plane out of the jibes. Things are going well all the way around. I'm really happy. And after the rig flip, it's like you give up. Get hold of that boom. Get your hands back. Drop and push. And that really is all there is to getting planing. Let's slow it down. Woo. This is a 6.5 NCX, by the way, a big sail and a nice big 133 litre board. But what I'm doing here, in both foot straps, in the wind, you can do that on a smaller board as well, providing you have wind, of course. The wind's just dropped for a moment. And cut. Restart when I'm in the wind. There it is, dropping and pushing. Out of the harness, in both foot straps. Bring it back up wind once again by changing my vision. Hook in. Lovely. I'm slowing down, I'm slowing down. I'm sort of on the plane. Disco rig flip, drop and push. Boost it back onto the plane. You probably noticed even there, still out of the harness, bearing away in that drop and push position. I'd shuffled back and got into both foot straps. Nothing wrong with that. Sometimes jumping in both straps off the plane, I call a bit of a bit of a cowboy technique if you like, but if you've got the wind and it works, crack on, go for it. And that's the key bit though, make sure you have wind. Don't hang around in both straps doing nothing, wondering what's going on. Make your way back up wind and see what's happening or yeah. This is a nice gust. Jump in both foot straps, drop and push. Pushing through that front foot hard. Driving the nose of the board away from the wind. Most likely across or even slightly downwind. And then that vision changes and it brings you back up wind. Just as I'm finishing here, you may have noticed as a lot of you guys have commented, backwinded tack, love them. Nine out of 10 tacks that I do will be a backwinded tack, it's much easier. If you're up for it, I'll give you a bit of a clinic on it in a future video, I'll film it up for you. But let me know, tell me what you're loving in the comments. Hopefully this camera's giving you all the views you need, plus a few other clips I've thrown on top. Key things from today, drop and push to get planing. Whether you're just getting there for the first time or whether you're trying to exit to carb drive. Thanks very much for joining me. I'll see you next time back out here in Bass or, of course, on this channel. Thanks again. Good wins to you all. Woohoo! This is really windy!